and before we can do the roof up there on that final section in the middle up there is there's solar panels up there. And I wanna get those solar panels mounted up here on the roof. And I've got these aluminum tracks. Hey, get that piece of aluminum that the solar goes to over here. Take it back up and get that bucket of hardware in here. Also, let's take it all up. So I've got these solar tracks that mount onto the roof. He's fixing to have one in his hand here. They used it as a straight edge cutting yesterday. And this is that track. And it's got some hardware that mounts it to the roof. And uh, this is a whole system for mounting down those solar panels. So this is what we're gonna be doing this morning. Goodness, look at that water out there. So I'll give you all a little idea here. So it's got this little mounting leg right here. A little piece of hardware inside of there. And then this part here is what the panel sits in. And this clips down in between two panels or one on the outside edge. Um, so across this front's my best bet for all the solar right out along that front edge. Um, I think the power in the afternoon when it's hot and you're gonna be running your ACs and stuff the most is more important than early in the morning. Of course, you could argue also and say early in the morning you want to start building your battery bank back up as soon as possible. But I can put a separate solar array over here to the side up higher on a separate charge controller and utilize that morning sun on some isolated panels. Um, my, there's screws that need to be finished right out there. You see the gaps? I missed a few places there when we were trying to hurry. So once you grab this, and get you a handful of screws. And we need to finish out on that corner down there. These are short pieces of track and I've got long ones laying over here. And then to join two pieces of track together, you've got this piece of hardware right here and it slides in and you slide another track on there and these are set screws for it here. And now every one of these panels is not gonna get hooked together and just a series or just only a parallel. Um, they're going to be in groups and on different charge controllers uh, separate from the ones that came in my inverter uh, and I'll maybe try to do a little explaining on that but I don't want to lose you too much um, the solar panels let me let me explain this so you got a rating on these solar panels they're 46.7 open circuit voltage 325 watts if you put those in a series the voltage is going to increase so if you go um, if you go tying them positive negative positive negative you're raising the voltage well the charge controller whether it be in your inverter or standalone will have a maximum input open circuit voltage from your panels let's say that your charge controller says a maximum of 120 and you put three of those panels together and you've actually exceeded that 120. Well, you might get lucky and get away with it, especially here where it's hot weather. But if you catch the right day that it's cooler and it's really sunny, the cooler it is, the better and more efficient the panels are. And let's say now that it hits that peak voltage and it hits really high wattage, now what you're gonna do is probably damage your charge controller. You wanna make sure you don't put more of a series together and raising that voltage up, doubling it, tripling it, quadrupling it, than what your input is on your charge controller. And then your charge controller will have a maximum of watts that it can handle. So maybe it's a maximum of 1200 watts. Uh, same, same thing. So if you wanna start 
parallel on them. So you've got a, a series of maybe two or three panels, then you've doubled or tripled the voltage up in a series. But now you want to parallel two series together. So you say you got three panels together in a series. You got another three panels together in a series. Now you can combine those into a parallel, meaning you're going to take positive to positive, negative to negative from the two different sets, the two different series. And now you have not increased the voltage, but you have uh, doubled up on the amperage side on there and on the wattage side. So now you got to make sure you also don't exceed what your charge controller is rated for the inputs on that or once again you can damage your equipment well i hope i hadn't lost it yet but if i put separate charge controllers an mppt charge controller on one group of panels on another group of panels on another group of panels well then i have less chance of not only uh, maximizing out the voltages and the wattages on all of that but if a set of panels gets shaded, see like this shade here right now, if it's on separate charge controllers in separate groups, well then I don't get affected so much. It doesn't pull down the power on the whole entire string, the whole set of solar panels, if they're all combined together. Now there is some diodes that's in the back of them that help with that some, so it don't bleed down power if one's really weak and shaded. But there's only so much that that can do to help you. The best thing is, is just don't have every bit of it all connected together and all your eggs in one basket. Um, now, another benefit is, is if I have one charge controller that gets knocked out or goes down, it doesn't knock me out of making power for the whole place. Um, I still have other charge controllers going then. So that's another benefit also. So I was here setting up this next track and I caught myself on a mistake I made. We put the hardware wrong on those out there. Um, we got it on that shorter side instead of it turned up. And it's actually supposed to be to where these little standoff or little brackets right here are on this side that has this grip on it. So that these grooves and these grooves lock together right there. And that's totally my mistake. I uh, haven't messed with these in a while and wasn't thinking about it. And I was standing here looking and thinking. I said, something's just not right. It seemed like these tracks stood up, not laid down, and I was right. Um, so we got to correct all of this. So we're getting those corrected now. Turned up the right way. It should have been up like that. So you see... Right now it's about 11, 18 or so in the morning. And you see these panels will have no shading on them. Really excited about getting all this solar back up, man. Knock out this electricity bill we've been spending buying power from Eleco. We've had our batteries, which gives us backup during uh, these brownouts and outages of different types, which keeps us going um, with power backup, but we haven't been producing that much solar. We've only had just temporary here right now Four panels back up, but let me tell you even those four panels have helped um, Helped greatly see this is a MPPT wind and solar hybrid system controller and This connection this connection this connection is the three-phase wires from the wind generator see right there and then you can still attach solar. I have a solar attached to it here right now. And then out to a battery right here. It's going down this battery down below. Then this load, you can put, you know, light something on it that you can have a load on there. Like if you just want to use some power directly off of it, not nothing pulling heavy amps or anything, just something simple. And then these two outside ones right here are for your load dump for the wind generator because you don't want a wind generator spinning free. It needs to keep a resistance on it. So if your battery's completely full, 
it's no longer able to charge. Uh, it would be freewheeling up there. And so you wanna put the load dump on it, which is here in the box right now. The wind generator is a dual wind generator, meaning it's got two different sets of uh, magnets and field there. So it's called a dual PMA or PMG permanent magnet alternator, permanent magnet generator. Uh, I would actually have to have two controllers. So this is really great because the second one I ordered like it just came in at lunch. Perfect timing while we're putting everything up. What's nice is I can have a solar array on this and run part of my solar panels on this along with the wind, part of my solar panels on that along with the wind, and then I can still have solar connected to the inverters as well. So uh, that splits up, lets me have more solar power coming in. There it is right there, there's the load dump right there. Up here we're putting these bolts all the way through up there on the solar panel tracks. Uh, we're moving forward, laying these dirty panels on, and they are dirty. And putting on the hardware, I'll show you down here. I was going to start the other end, I changed my mind and started this end. So these go in this track, right there, and they clip right there. Here, you need one also. Here you go. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Locks it over the end. Ever gonna wipe them off before we put them up, but time of day it's getting, I don't wanna mess around. I just wanna get them up. Shower come or something later. Uh, it'll beat a lot of it off of them and we can see what's left. And, clean them on up it's not that big a deal All right, well, we got the panels down from up there and we got all the dirty ones that's been stored put up. And these are a lot cleaner, you see, because we've been using them. They do have a little spray from texturing on top of them. Man, that stuff flew a long ways. So uh, getting those, got a couple more right here and we got one more down below to go get. And that'll be all of them that I have right now. And on our track we had a little over a foot to spare i asked them to make a gap right here in the middle a little over halfway point and that way if you need to get down in between right there or something um right along one of these sides you don't have to be trying to go all the way around um another thing is if part of your track come loose somewhere you don't have panels just the whole set domino away hey we need to get one clamp on the outside before you go wait put it down at the bottom down there yeah Pierre Ammon's just now been cleaning these solar panels for me yeah that is looking pretty good and they probably need a little bit more of a bath. They probably need some detergents of some kind to them because they got like a little film over them. But I'm wanting to get some more of this track and I'm actually wanting to add some additional panels. 